So if you've got an iPhone and a Windows PC, it could be problematic transferring files from your iPhone onto your PC. Well, today I'm going to show you a bit of free software, completely free software, uh, and it makes the process very, very simple. Before I get into it, I just want to thank the sponsors of this video. As you can see, it's a paid presentation, and it's DigiArte. They make this software, and they also do other software that you can see that you can make for converting DVDs, for example, and many other things. So if you're interested in any of that, I'll put the links in the description, plus the links from the description for this bit of software as well. So as you see, it's quite easily laid out and it's called Dear Mob iPhone Manager. Now, if you want to transfer photos, you click on photos, music, video and movie. If you want to do a full backup and restore, you can do that. It is, you would need the paid version for that though. Um, same with uh, transferring of SMS files or contacts. But if you're just going to be transferring over videos and photographs, completely free. And you get 100 credits per day and a photo takes up two credits. A video can take up two credits or four credits. It really depends on the size. So unless you're a really, really heavy user, you will no need to go over that 100 credits. How to use it is very, very simple. You're just going to make sure your iPhone is plugged in to a cord into your PC. And then it's just a case of what do you want to transfer? So I'm going to transfer a photograph first. So uh, I'm going to click on photographs and then it'll take a few moments for it to load up your photographs. There you go, it depends how many photographs you've got. Uh, it will depend how long that'll take. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer a couple of photographs of my daughter here. So I'm going to click on that one and that one there. And what I would recommend is unchecking export with encryption, because if you do encrypt it, I've got to be honest, I find it hard to uncrypt it uh, or decrypt it. So I just make sure that's unchecked. I don't really need it encrypted, to be honest. You click on export. It's then going to ask you where you want to store it. So I'm just going to store it onto my desktop and click on open. Then so this is going to come up here. This operation will consume four credits of your 100 credit allocation. I've been using this all day and I've still got 100 credits. So we'll keep that in the QTA. Eh? Um, if you want to buy the full version, you can do that here. But all you do is click on continue. And there we go. It's exported those files straight away. And as far as I can see, it gives you a second copy. Uh, but as far as I can see, it is full resolution. So if I just, so if I just click on the, the real one and not the the copy, <laughs> uh, you'll see that there we go. It is a full resolution photograph. It's uh, over two megabits in size. So photographs really really simple to do. So what about uh, videos? Then I'll just close that down. Well, videos are pretty straightforward as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to record a video right now and I'm going to transfer it over. Oh my God, you look absolutely an old git. But anyway, this is a, a little testing video to see how well this transfers over. I will see you in a couple of seconds. So there we go. And all we would then do is uh, click on video and movie and now, I've already had this previously synced up. Now, just to make sure that it's completely new, I'm just going to click on refresh because I have done a few of these videos before. This is the third time uh, I've actually recorded this. That's why you'll see a couple more <laughs> selfie videos there. But anyway, I digress. I kept making mistakes, by the way. That's all it was. And here we are. So, <laughs> goodness, look at my face there. Right, so all I would do is click on that one. I don't want that one. And again, make sure export with encryption is unchecked. And then all you do is click on export. It will then say this operation will take two credits. I've still got 100 credits. Just uh, letting you know there. Put now there. Uh, click on continue. It's now exporting it. And there it is there. Oh my God, you look absolutely an old git. But anyway. This is a, a little testing video to see how well this transfers over. I will see you in a couple of seconds. So there you go. It's pretty, pretty simple. Very, very quick as well, wasn't it? So let's see. That is videos. The other thing that I find it very useful for is for uh, this little bit here. Where are we looking for? The voice memo here. So if I click on that, it's going to show you all the voice memos that I've got on my 
uh, on my iPhone. Also, the ringtones. Now, I've had these ringtones on my iPhones for years, even my, on my phones that I've had previous to my iPhones, and I've always transferred it on. Now, because I've backed this up with the iCloud, it's still there. Now, I've lost all these physical files because of that old, but now I can get them back on to uh, my, well, if I had a PC, it'd be a PC. I'm actually doing this on a Mac, but uh, obviously for this, this is a demonstration for a PC. Very, very simple. All I would do is click on it and then export it. Now, what I'm going to show you is a voice memo. So let's uh, try this one here. I have no idea what this is. This could be completely embarrassing. So I'm just going to export it over again. It's going to take five credits for a voice, but I've still got 100 credits. So. Hello, my name is Carl Speaks, and welcome to the show. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's embarrassing. <laughs> there we go. That shows you how old that was. So there you go. I, I actually think this is really, really a great bit of software, and it is completely free unless you're a massive heavy user. So uh, I, I've just got to show you how to get it now, and it's very simple to get. You just go to, I'll put the link in the description for it. If you want to actually buy it, then uh, here it is here. It's $39.95, and that's for a lifetime, and it's for two PCs. If you want to use a family license, three to five PCs, if it's just $69.95, or if you just want to buy one year license, it's $29.95. Let me know if that's useful to you at all. I hope you're all well. I will hopefully see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.